As an organization, do you have a deliberate strategy or plan by which you control and manage the customer experience that you're delivering? I'm Naeem Arif. I'm a business transformation consultant and customer first enabler. In this series of videos, I'm gonna to talk to you about some simple things that you can bring together to create your own customer service strategy. In our search for more repeat customers, loyal customers, advocates, uh, we're always trying to work out how to make sure that our customers are not frustrated, but more elated by the service or the product they bought from us. And something that is often a source for massive disappointment is when you make a promise that you don't deliver on. Now, broken promises in any form can lead to a disappointed customer. Uh, and that disappointing customer is most likely not to return for another product or another service. Breaking promises indicates that you're not someone who's trustworthy and certainly not someone who's reliable. So keeping promises that you set uh, is really important in any kind of business. Now, what you think may be an expectation, the customer will usually hear that as a promise. So if you said to a customer, we'll be there around two o'clock, the customer usually hears they'll be there at two o'clock and come 2.15, 2.30, the customer thinks that you're already late. So make promises, set expectations that are realistic. Because if you set expectations that are realistic, then it's more likely that you can deliver on them. So if you said, we'll be there in the afternoon, knowing that you intend to turn up about one or two o'clock, the customers will be happy that you've turned up in the time slot you allocated to them. All of this allows you to build up further trust, further confidence from that customer and sets you on the way to increased chances of customer satisfaction and increased chances of loyal customers who will not only repeat buy, but also advocate your business and services to their family and friends. 